My name is Owen. Today, I'm going to read Jasmine Toguchi. Chapter 10 The Brave One I pick up the phone and call Lini again. When she ans answered, I talk, I talk super fast so she couldn't hang up on me. Lini, it's me, Jasmine, and I and I know you're really mad at me, but you probably need your things since since you're not sleeping over anymore, and my mom is making your favorite dinner, and it would hurt and it would hurt 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 her feelings if if you didn't come and eat with us. So please come for dinner, and you don't have to talk to me or anything. If you don't want to, but I really hope you come over. Phew, that was a lot to say in one breath. I waited and waited. Finally, I heard Lini say softly, "Okay." Then she, and then she hung up. What do you mean we have to make, Jack? Yaki soba for din dinner, Mom asked. Please, Mom, it's very important. I leaned on the kitchen counter, where Mom was unpacking groceries. Groceries. What's going on? She asked. I invited Lini back over, and I kind of told her. You are making a favorite dinner, I said. You're trying to, you're trying to make up with Lini. That's good. Mom stacked cans in the in the pantry. I'm going to try to convince her to stay over and celebrate Girls' Day with me, with us. I said, "Well, well." In that case, I'll I'll make yakisoba. Mom said, "I hope Lini agrees to stay." Stay. I walked around the counter to hug hug mom, hug mom, with my strong mochi making arms. Thank you so much. Mom hugged me get back. You're welcome, sweetheart. Now I just hope my plan would work. When Lini arrived, when Lini arrived, she didn't say a word. She followed me to my room. I stood by by my desk and and took a deep breath. I held the flamingo rock behind my back and and I. Squeezed it to make me braver. Lini sat on my bed. That was a good sign. At least she didn't just grab her bag and leave. I'm sorry, I hurt your feelings. I said, I shouldn't have said it. it was your fault? The 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 garage was a mess. I took the rock wrap. Behind my back, I saw I saw the present you left for me. I love this rock, but I know it's your favorite too. You don't have to give it to me if you don't want to anymore. I am not a good friend after all. I want you to have it, she said. I sat down next to Lee. You call me brave, but I think you're the brave one. I am. Lee looked surprised. Yes, you were brave enough to come play with me in the garage, even though you didn't want to. I said. Lee tucked in her hair. Ed was a little scared of playing in there. It was dark. Miss Sanchez said I had good observation skills.
but I didn't figure out how you felt until today, I said. You were so excited about playing in there, Mimi said. I wanted I wanted you to be happy. I miss you, I said softly. I want to be friends again. I'm really sorry for blaming you for the mess. Mimi stopped talking in her hair. I miss you too. I don't want to fight, she finally say, said. I smiled. Does that mean you'll stay for girls' day? Yes. Awesome. I leaped off the, off the bed and started hopping. I'm so I'm so happy we're best friends. We grinned at each other. Then we fell into a giggling fit. Figuring it out. I think we were right. About Mrs. Reese being a spy, I said, and I finally caught my breath. Really? I found papers in the box, I said. They look like little posters and and say and say and you get your gun. Fiddler on the roof and Oklahoma. What does that mean? Mimi asked. I don't know, I said. I think they might be messages like a code. Is her name Annie? Mimi asked. Maybe. Maybe. So maybe the message was for her, was for her to get her gun and dress up as a fiddler. Fiddler. And meet the person, person on the roof in Oklahoma. That's amazing. Mimi said, "You are so smart, Jasmine. What are you guys doing?" Sophie asked from the door. So, from my doorway. We figured out that Mrs. Reese used to be spy. I said. Sophie flipped her hair. Yeah, right. It's true, Mimi said. Those clothes, clothes, in her garage. Garage are her disguises. Jasmine found code messages for disguises, like a fiddler in the roof. So we grinned. Sophie Green is like that musical, like the musical. What do you mean? I asked. Sophie walked into my room and sat down at my desk. This was the first time she had come into my room in like forever. Did you see? If Mom bought the special mochi, mochi for Girls' Day, she asked. No, I said. But I know she went to the store today. Why? No reason. No reason. I just hope she didn't buy one for me since I'm not celebrating. Sophie stood back up and walked over. Over to my door, but she said, turning back to me, "If if she did buy an extra, make sure you save it for me." Then Sophie left as quickly as she had come. That was weird, I said. Very, me agreed. Do you want to? Do you want to make costumes for my paper dolls? Yes, I was relieved. Mimi and I were friends again. 
he took her paper dolls out of her overnight bag. And I dug in my desk drawer for pretty or origami paper. Origami is Japanese art, where you fold paper into different shapes, like boats and birds and hats. Today I was letting Lainey cut up some papers to make outfit for her dolls. Dolls, because that's what good friends do. I pick, I pick, red paper to make a super slow, slow cape for one of the dolls. That reminded me of the. Of the other clue I had found, I also saw a bunch of leaves on Mrs. Reese's garage. I told Lenny, "List of things like shoes and jackets, maybe for her discuss, maybe for her discusses, discusses." But you know what was weird? Lenny scrunched her nose as she, as she, con, as she concentrated on cutting out a princess dress from pink paper. No, what? One of the least said, said thirteen aprons. I said. Why would one person need sixteen things to wear? That is strange. We agreed. Maybe she worked with fifteen other spies. And remember what Sophie said about the musical? I asked, thinking hard. Something, something didn't seem right. The fiddler thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. Lenny said. But we didn't get to talk about it anymore because Mom called us for dinner. The table was set with chopsticks. Since that's how we eat Japanese fried noodles. We each had our own chopsticks. Dad's were light brown wood. Mom's were shiny black, with a gold moon. Sophie's were blue with orange flowers, and and mine was purple with pink hearts. Even Lenny had her own because she ate over a lot. Lenny's. Were green with pink hearts. Itadaki Musa, Dad said. Itadaki Musa, Lini said, along with me and my family. I smiled a big. I smiled a big smile. As I dug into my yak yakisoba, I couldn't wait till. Tomorrow, when we celebrated Girls' Day, almost everything was perfect. I only wish Sophie were celebrating with us too. Bye bye. See you next time.